Hello, welcome to a video for the 2010 mass retail release of the G.I. Joe Pursuit of Cobra Ghost Hawk. Here's a closer look at the packaging that the Ghost Hawk comes in. We have the unit logo for G.I. Joe here that lets you know this is a G.I. Joe vehicle on the good guy's side. We have Ghost Hawk, the G.I. Joe logo that's been updated for the brand. And even though this is a window box, I love this one just like I love the Ice Cutters vehicle box because it's still got this window that allows kids and parents and collectors to see what they're going to get but it still has all this artwork along the side so I really like that because it almost makes it look like it's really in the action and when we get into the diorama that this comes with too I think they even do that even better. On the side here we have the G.I. Joe logo for the unit Ghost Hawk, G.I. Joe logo updated for the brand and then the Ghost Hawk flying among the trees there's definitely a dark sky above it it's gone the attack with its Gatling gun firing. There's some fire down here. Really nice artwork. I know for years people have been wanting a coffee table book with all the different artwork of G.I. Joe throughout the years. This would definitely be a nice addition to that if we ever get that. Then on the other side, on this side we've got a portrait of Tomahawk. He's got a very stern, very, you know, mind is definitely on something look on him. It says that it includes Tomahawk, the figure. Then it also has a bio of what G.I. Joe is as a team. It says G.I. Joe is the code name for a special operations unit of highly trained men and women. Their purpose is to defend the world against Cobra, a ruthless organization with criminal tentacles in every nation on Earth. And then right below we have the G.I. Joe logo updated for the brand again. And then on the back, G.I. Joe unit logo again, Ghost Hawk. A few bullet points, but before we get on to the bullet points, we also have a bio right here that says The Ghost Hawk swoops into the jungle to deliver the G.I. Joe team. This stove, which stands for a short takeoff and vertical landing aircraft, doesn't need a runway, just a small gap in the thick canopy designed for stealth. It is virtually silent until it's time to unleash the firepower and blast a hole through Cobra. Fortresses with an LSB-10 large scale breaching missile bullet point is the opening cockpit. The second bullet point is the firing missile launchers. And then here we have that it also has rotating engines. Includes Tomahawk the figure. Here we have him without his helmet on so it's nice that it is removable. We have interchangeable weapons but we'll get a little more into that later and we'll see if it's really something that really should be a selling point or not. Then we have right down here what mission he's on, and he's on the mission of pursuing Cobra on the jungle assault mission. The G.I. Joe team discovers a Cobra Terror Dome fortress covered with indestructible armor. But thankfully it looks like it's not too indestructible because we do have that vehicle with the big large LSB-10 large scale breaching missile, so they won't have a problem with that. On the bottom of the box we have, although it's been kind of shaded out, we still have that very stern, determined portrait of Tomahawk. We have visit GIJoe.com, G.I. Joe Collectors Club, GIJoeClub.com. Then we have the ID clearance badge here for Tomahawk that says number 1015 Tomahawk. Name William P. Period Folger. Serial number 888-62-WF47. Grade 0-2 First Lieutenant. Mission Equipment, FVIR, which I believe stands for Full Visual Infrared Flight Helmet with Computerized Display Visor. Tomahawk is a pilot on the G.I. Joe team. This former Air Force pilot has flown every type of fixed-wing aircraft and tested numerous advanced design prototypes. He delivers the team to the jungle, using his expert flying to conceal their presence from the Cobra forces that are suspected to be hiding in the shadows of the jungle. On this side we have the Pursuit of Cobra Ghost Hawk and I say that because we did get a previous version of the Ghost Hawk right here. So if you'd like to go and see a video that I did for the Ghost Hawk when it was originally not for Pursuit of Cobra you can go here. But for now, let's go ahead and move on to the Pursuit of Cobra Ghost Hawk.